Okay, we're given sine of alpha is equal to five over eight. And we're also told that theta, which we're gonna use alpha, is it gonna be in quadrant one, all right? And our goal on this is to find cosine of two alpha. So you can see that cosine of two theta is given to us. This is the formula. Um, we're gonna use alpha instead of theta as we go through this. But with the information that's given to us, you'll, you'll see that we're gonna need cosine of alpha and sine of alpha to fill into this formula, basically. Don't get thrown off with the different angle name. All right, so we have sine of alpha. We're gonna need cosine of alpha to fill into this formula. So to get that, what I like to do is I'm gonna just draw a quick right triangle to go along with our situation. All right, and I'm gonna label this as alpha down in this angle. And I know from SOHCAHTOA that sine of alpha is gonna be opposite over hypotenuse. So I'm gonna go ahead and label five on the opposite side and eight on the hypotenuse. Now to get cosine of alpha, and that's the end goal eventually, we have to get cosine of alpha in order to fill into our formula, we're gonna need the adjacent side length over here. So for the time being, I'm just gonna call that B and I'm gonna set up the Pythagorean theorem which says a squared plus b squared equals c squared, or five squared plus b squared equals eight squared in our situation. Okay, from here, a little reducing down, we can say 25 instead of five squared plus b squared equals 64. I'm gonna subtract that 25, move it to the other side and make this into a power equation. So 64 minus 25 is gonna give us 39 on the right-hand side. Finally, we'll apply a square root to both sides to isolate B on one side by itself. So B is gonna be the square root of 39. Um, so to set up cosine of alpha, I know that's gonna be adjacent square root of 39 over the hypotenuse eight in our situation. The other thing to kind of double check on is which quadrant our angle is in. In this case, we're in quadrant one and all of our trigonometric ratios are gonna be positive in quadrant one. So I'm just gonna leave this as positive for cosine of alpha. All right, next up to actually compute cosine of two alphas, where that comes from is it's gonna be the cosine of alpha being squared minus the sine of alpha also being squared. So we can start replacing and we can say cosine of alpha is gonna be the square root of 39 over eight, but it gets squared minus sine which is five over eight, and it gets squared as well, all right? All that remains is a little bit of reducing down. As we square this, we have two copies of the square root of 39 multiplied together. So that's gonna make 39 without a square root over top. And then we're also gonna square this denominator. So eight squared works out to be 64. Minus five squared is 25 over eight squared, which is again, 64. All right, two separate fractions. This would be a better answer if we went ahead and combine these together into a single fraction. So let's keep that common denominator and work out 39 minus 25 is gonna equal 14. This will reduce down just a little bit more, both multiples of two, we can say that's seven over th 32. And that's gonna be the uh, cosine of two alpha based on the sine of alpha that was given to us from the beginning. All right, hope this helps out as you're working down double angles. It's really not that bad, but draw the triangle, uh, label the sides, use SOHCAHTOA and what we know already. Good luck.